jerk the wheel, have to keep offensive identity. Well, over the last three weeks, how has that gone? How close do you think you guys have stayed? To that? I think in, in spurts of the game, we stayed very close. You know, the first half of, of Sunday, you know, I think we showed some good things in the run game. I think we were, you know, getting the play passes uh, starting to develop or set them up a little bit. And then because of our self-inflicted wounds, the game got out of hand. And so it turned into, a, you know, a pass-heavy second half, um, you know, because it needed to, frankly. Uh, and, uh, you know, so I, I think we've done it in spurts, but we certainly need to be much more consistent. You have to go away from play action the way you have to go away from the run game when you're trailing big? Yeah, you just don't have as much effectiveness in the play pass. You know, it, if they're not honoring the run, they're not worried about you running the ball because of the game situation. You're not going to get as much distortion from the linebackers and level two defenders. And so uh, you kind of have to uh, pair the play actions uh, with run situations. You guys have had a lot of situations throughout the year where you bring guys in, and I guess they need to prove themselves during the course of the week to be added to the active roster, be available Sunday. What, what do you look for during the practice week to know when a guy is ready? What do, you, what do you like to see? Yeah, first of all, it's a assignment sound, right? If they can grasp the offense and, and what their assignment's going to be and how that assignment might change, you know, based on defensive look or things of that nature. Uh, knowing where to be and when to be there is is obviously a, a good starting point. Uh, and then that they can just go play fast. You know, that they understand what we're trying to accomplish in the scheme and that they can go play with a sense of urgency and the same demeanor and effort and finish that we look for out of everybody else. What are you seeing out of Dontrell and uh, Deontay and now that they've had, you know, a little bit of uh, snaps under their belt? And if Kari's able to get back and then, you know, when he's back, how much will he be able to maybe add to the offense as well? Yeah, well, first of all, first off with those uh, two newer backs, if you will, Dontrell and Deontay, I think they get more comfortable uh, each week and with more snaps. I think Dontrell did some things to, you know, get us some juice and, would have loved to be able to stick with the run game a little bit more because I thought we were running the ball pretty well in the first half. Uh, and I think those are guys that will get more comfortable as they get more carries, you know. And as far as Kari, obviously he's a valuable member of our team, you know, and, and has done some great things for this offense. He's a veteran presence. He's seen a lot of football. Uh, and so if if I'm told that, you know, I have him at our disposal, you know, I'm, I'm sure he can contribute in a, a couple of different ways. With what a team's giving you or what you're intending to do going into a game is, is short stuff generally. How much discipline and patience does, does that take from your guys? It, it does take discipline. You know, you have to invest in completions and you have to be able to, uh, you know, Basically, uh, don't go broke taking a profit. <laughs> you know, you, you have to be able to uh, stay patient and know that once you get them to step up and play the short stuff, then you can take some shots down the field. Uh, and then there's certainly ways that you got to manufacture uh, the vertical passing game and and uh, get creative that way. But uh, you know, teams definitely are going to test that. You know, and and you need to have uh, discipline and patience and and be willing to you know invest in those underneath throws. Something you feel you guys could do a little bit more, take some more vertical shots, and, and if you do feel that way, what's keeping you from doing it? Yeah, I'd like to, and I think again the game situation. You know, we had some vertical play passes we liked last week, and uh, again because of our own self-inflicted wounds, weren't able to uh, you know stay in phase long enough to be able to get to some of those. So you know, we threw a couple of go balls, uh, tried to get the ball down the field vertically that way, but uh, you know certainly need to stay. Uh, more in phase and on schedule as an offense to be able to open up that playbook more. Mistakes in the passing game Sunday. How much of that is on Brian? How much of that is new guys coming in or maybe a combination of a whole bunch of things? And how, how easy or how difficult is it to get it all fixed in time for this week? Yeah, I'll make that easy. You can just put it on me. I didn't teach the concept well enough or, or I didn't you know make it clean enough. So I'll take the heat on those. Todd, was it good to see, uh, you know, just Dez get his first career touchdown, get some catches, get maybe build some confidence? We all know kind of the struggles he had early, kind of getting that opportunity for you guys. What was that kind yeah, of like to see? Dez did some good things, you know, and I think that, again, I keep saying this word, and it's not trying to be a cop-out answer, but the consistency is what we're chasing. You know, being where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there uh, is something that you need to do repeatedly uh, to build confidence with the quarterback. And Des did some good things, and uh, I expect him to continue to grow with more opportunities. Can there be a little bit more urgency with some? Because you mentioned being in the, where you're supposed to be, there was a play where there was an urgency. Can there be more for him, you know, as far as his route running and the craft of that? I think after a game like Sunday, we all have to be a little bit more urgent. You know, and uh, and I think that we're gonna you know fight hard to look for ways to do that, and uh, you know I expect a better product this Sunday. 
think there'll be a point in the off season where you where you reflect on how unique it was that you called plays for Derrick Henry and Adrian Peterson in the same season? Yeah, I, we're we're not at a place where that even uh, bounces around in this uh, half empty cranium of mine. But um, you know, may, maybe someday. Yeah. What went wrong that led to so many turnovers, and what's going to change this week? Yeah, you know, we say it around here all the time. It takes all eleven. You know, so there are different uh, contributing factors to each one of those turnovers. And like I said, you can you can pin it on me for uh, you know good majority of them. I'll I'll take the heat on those, and we'll work hard to fix them. You faced them several times. What do you get when you face Belichick, uh, you know, Patriots coach defense? Yeah, I mean the the obvious, right? The, they're extremely well coached, detailed. They're not going to beat themselves. Uh, you know, they're going to be diligent and giving you different looks out of different personnel groupings, make you work, make you communicate. Uh, just a, a well well coached team all around.